Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, just last night somebody asked me if I would do an update with Pi, my three-legged leopard gecko. And uh, for anybody who's not subscribed to me already, I adopted Pi and uh, I'm not sure if Pi's a he or a she just yet, but he has been, uh, or he, it, has been growing a lot. And I mean, the day I brought this gecko home, the leg that's missing was already about to fall off. It was black, it was dried out, it's... I was really bummed out. And Pi was weighing about four grams, and it had been at the store, uh, at the pet store, that uh, doesn't know how to take care of reptiles, which is a good reason not to get reptiles from, uh, from big chain pet stores. It's, uh, many people comment on this, uh, Many will tell you never to ever buy reptiles from uh, from chain pet stores, like big chain stores, and there's a very good reason for it, because they, a lot of people there don't know how to, uh, to care for, the, for these animals at all. And uh, I'm just, I've just got pie over here in my little holding tank thing, and I was gonna show you guys. So, this is what, a couple months of proper care can do. Um, so Pi was about four grams before and just absolutely tiny. I'll just get her get him over here. As you can see, just you know Pi is about 34, 35 grams now and just looking great. I've been very happy with the, with the results. It's a very cute little gecko too. As you can see, he kind of uses the uh, nub there as a leg. Oh, yeah. And this kind of thing is the whole reason you need a moist hide box in your terrariums because when stuck shed doesn't come off, it'll constrict on the limb and it causes toes to fall off, which is a lot more common than the, uh, the leg. But just a little update with Pi, who's looking great. Very nice pattern, starting to get that carrot tail, and I've been really excited because the carrot tail just keeps getting more orange every, every time I look in the terrarium. It's fantastic. But that's pie. Have a good one, guys.